Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Over a year ago, I did a tutorial with an earlier version of Photoshop on how to transform a nighttime photo into a night vision image. For this tutorial, I updated it by streamlining it and adding a scope effect. Find your nighttime document and make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl J on a PC or Command J on a Mac. Let's name the copy Base. We'll take all the color out by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift U to desaturate it. If your image doesn't have much grain, go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Texture folder and choose Grain. For this image, I'll choose an intensity of 30 and a contrast of 50. Choose Clumped for your grain type. Bright spots of night vision images are always blown out. To simulate that effect in your photo, go back to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Distort folder and choose Diffuse Glow. We don't want the type of grain used in this filter, so make it zero. Experiment with the glow and clear amounts. For this image, I'll make the glow 5 and the clear 20. You can see the difference before and after. To simulate the bright blurriness of night vision images, go to Filter, Blur, and Lens Blur. The Lens Blur window will open. Choose None for the source and experiment with the amount of blur you want for your photo by changing the radius amount. For this photo, I'll choose 10. We're ready to give our photo that unique night vision green color. Click on the Adjustment Layer button and choose Channel Mixer. In the Green Output channel, make the green 127%. Click back on the Adjustment Layer and this time choose Color Balance. Open Mid-Tones and slide the green all the way to the right. If you'd like to add some crosshairs, click on the New Layer button to make a new layer. Open the Single Row Marquee tool. Click down once anywhere inside your document. Go to Edit and Stroke. I'll choose 5 pixels for the width. Keep in mind this document is 300 pixels per inch. If your document is smaller, choose a lower number to keep the crosshairs thin. Make the location center and the color white. If it isn't white, click on the color box and pick white. Press Ctrl or Command D to delete the selection. To center it on your image, open your Move tool and press Ctrl or Command A to select the entire document. Then click on the Align Vertical Centers icon and delete the selection. Make a copy of it and open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to the left edge and when you see a curved double arrow, press and hold Shift and rotate it clockwise until it snaps in place. Then press Enter or Return. Merge the horizontal and vertical lines by pressing Ctrl or Command E. We'll name it Crosshairs. Change the Blend Mode to Overlay. We're ready to add a monocular scope effect. Make the bottom layer active and make a new layer above it. Let's fill it with black. Go to your foreground and background color boxes and make them default to black and white. To do this, click on the black and white box icon or press D on your keyboard. Now, press Alt Delete on a PC or Option Delete on a Mac. Make the base active. Press Z to open your Zoom tool and press and hold Alt or Option as you click down a few times. Open your elliptical marquee tool, go to the center of the crosshairs, press and hold Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you drag out a circular selection to the sides of your document. Go to Select and Refine Edge. I'm choosing black and white in the view mode and feathering it 100 pixels. Remember, if your document is smaller and has a lower resolution, you'll need to reduce the number of pixels to get the same feathering effect. For the output, 
Choose Selection. Click on the Layer Mask button to make a layer mask of the selection next to the base. To fit the image back on your screen, press Ctrl or Command-0. If you don't want to see the crosshairs, simply click off the eyeball next to that layer. Using these simple techniques, you can transform any nighttime photo into a dramatic night vision image. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.